people that have agreed with your uh, economic theory have been predicting hyperinflation and inflation for at least a couple of years, if not longer. Where is it? Well, you're, you're seeing it. Look at the, the, the price of gold is at an all-time record high. Silver is at a 30-year high. The dollar is hitting record lows against a number of foreign currencies. But we haven't seen it. But in terms of prices, we have not well, really. Well, foreign prices seen. are up 60% in the last three But actual consumer months. prices are in the verge of deflation. No, they're not. Consumer prices well, are rising. look at the example of Japan. But, Japan no, is now in deflation. No, has no, been in no. deflation for a couple. No, for first quite of all, all, and they spent just the same way the United States has been spending. They spent. They had a, a massive. You have bank to of Japan understand bailout, that massive stimulus spending, yeah. and they still have given, deflation. Okay, given the economic contraction that we've had. Consumer prices should have fallen substantially, and that would have been very helpful to the economy if we could have brought down the cost of living. In, you know, let's assume that there's a point at which, if the government simply increases the currency, uh, that there is a point where that could become inflationary. Let's assume that's the case. Then why isn't the issue then, to, if there is enough wealth in the society either to pay for infrastructure investment or stimulus, it's not that America doesn't have the wealth. The, the, the money's there. Why not tax it at the upper levels and not go into debt, not create just print money, not create debt <laughs> and, and crisis? Well, I mean, Why not go where the money is?